Okay, we had a bit of a technical glitch then. <laughs> I actually turned the off button when I was trying to turn the camera around to show the other side. I've only got an iPhone and it comes with two buttons facing me or facing away and I still messed up. Um, to John Lowry uh, from uh, America who's uh, on my Steve's uh, Fest Tool Shed Talk Facebook site. John, if you're watching this, you'll probably appreciate what my great camera skills are, unlike yourself. <laughs> okay, mate. Uh, now, I'll, uh, now, guys, just hang on. Hopefully, we'll be able to turn the camera around, not turn it off. Okay. Camera's turned around. It's looking good. Okay, this is my piece that I love. It's, uh, um, it, I, I had this great sort of camphor laurel um, slab which was one slab, and I might have joined it uh, across here with uh, Domino's. Uh, it's got a great sort of live edge to it, which is going to come up fabulous once I oil it. So it's really kind of weathered, as you can see. But then I did this thing with using, this is using black wood and white oak. Uh, it's approximately um, 90 mils thick. And I wanted it to look like it's piercing through the wood. And I'll be, I'll be dominoing this down um, at the moment, it's not. <laughs> it's just sitting there. But look at this fabulous grain on this top. It's going to really come up fabulous with the um, with the oiling. I really like that, and I like the juxtaposition between the 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 organic sort of feel of this uh, timber to the um, to the geometric um, style. So, but I just love it. You know, just I kind of just this is everything. That I want to do, and of course, <laughs> it's not perfectly aligned. It's just sitting there at the moment, um, and I kind of like it going ninety degrees to the back rather than uh, parallel. But it's kind of like a nice piece of art, which is something I want to see in the, uh, you know in the galleries. Now here, <laughs> these are the scraps. Now I love the scraps. I got to think of what about what do the scraps? You know, I guess probably with the scraps I could put a circular clock hanging in the middle or something like that. But I don't know, they might become legs of something. Um, but I'll keep them. I really love them. Now this is a now this is a different piece. This is going up to the gallery tomorrow. And this is a piece I made out of a burl slab. And you can see I've done all these lines, I've groove, grooved all these lines and filled them up. Um, based on the Nazca lines, which are these sort of uh, prehistoric lines have seen in Peru on the sides of mountains, which were done by the Incas, I think. Now, if you look inside, I'll go right in close. I've encapsulated all these bits of antique bits and pieces of old jewelry bits and that, and that's down, sunk down inside the resin. So I wanted to create these lines to give a mystique as to, well, what's inside there? Is there something inside there? That's, that's, that's this whole this discovery of them. Now, I, I made up these legs to match. I love all this. This is fabulous. It's like a tiger skin. But over here, there were some natural worm marks in the timber, which were grooved in. So I filled them up using a contrasting filler. And um, it feels just like silk. It just feels so, so soft. I don't feel any bits in it. It's just literally like silk to feel. And I used um, uh, Fiddy's hard wax oils on that because... Uh, it's far more durable than I think than Osmo, and um, I'm going to give a bit of a grunt when I get up. <sighs> no, I managed to do it without a grunt. <laughs> but anyway, this is going up to the gallery tomorrow, and unfortunately, I didn't get this one quite ready. But it's no use to rush it. I'll take it up next week. But I wanted to just sort of show you guys. Um, my absolute favourite. Now I've got a whole pile of ideas that I'm going to be doing. I've been going to make in some interesting hall tables coming up and I've got some great products for that and this has given me some ins inspiration to make some hall tables. Anyway, so I'm kind of specialising in coffee tables and hall tables or console tables. Um, but I just thought I'd uh, share that on this time on the YouTube. Normally I just put up the, the photographs on my, Facebook's, on my Facebook site for my members and that to have a look at, you know, give them inspiration, maybe show little tricks. I don't do, you know, I do this for fun. I don't, I don't try to do them as instructional videos or, or whatever. It's just a matter of, you know, this is Steve's Fest who shed talk. So we just sort of talk stuff, you know, and uh, sometimes, 
like today, I'm showing off, you know, this is, I'm showing off the things that I enjoy making and um, I hope you do too and I hope you kind of get a bit of a, um, um, you know, enjoyment from watching it, so like a bit of a magazine show. Um, I'm not going to show you how to sharpen tools or all that sort of stuff. You're woodworkers, you should know how to do all that sort of stuff by now. I'm just showing you um, sometimes tools that I buy, you know, with what they can, possibly what they can do, what they're capable of. The results you get from them. I mean, this, um, and I'll go back to this. This block was so easy to do because I've got such good sanders, you know. I mean, I, I laminated all those blocks up, cut them all perfectly to size, laminated them all up, glued them down with some Gorilla Glue, um, which is fabulous sort of glue. I mean, this stuff will never come apart. It's, it's basically a polyurethane glue. But I've got the big, long belt sander, the big, long jet sander over here. That's brilliant for doing long stuff. I've got my planer and I've got my overhead sander. Now, together with all those things, I can create an absolute, beautiful, perfect block of, um, of timber. Because these sanders just make it like, and the planer just makes life so much easier to expand because I'm not a woodworker. I'm actually a, a designer artist that likes to work in wood. So, Based on that, hopefully I'll be able to splice this to the first bit that I messed up on. If not, this will be part two, <laughs> and you can look out for part two. So today, no tools, just what I do with my tools. Okay, well, since I'm a big tool myself anyway. <laughs> All right, you have a good day. See you guys.